All right, man. So I'm trying to decorate stuff for Christmas. I I started at okay. Yesterday I was supposed to decorate yesterday, but a certain brand new adopted dog decided with his dippy sister to boink off and was in the middle of a dangerous street. I'm so happy nothing bad happened to him, but I thought I closed the front door. It wasn't closed all the way. Probably Raven Pepper figured out that she could just push the door open and they boinked off and she ditched him somewhere and he was wandering literally in the middle of a dangerous street. I was supposed to get that, that decoration done, the decorating done yesterday. That wouldn't, that didn't happen. That wasn't happening yesterday. So I'm decorating today. And this is my, don't talk shit or come from my damn German fake tree. But I picked up this bad boy in Germany, like when we moved to Germany two years ago. And I'm saying, it looked kind of skinny. It's, it's like anemic as hell. But I want you to see. They're all, this is a plastic tree. You see how realistic these needles are looking. You see this, right? Nice, nice fake tree. And I was telling my husband, I was like, yo, we need to get like a big one for when we move. This is the biggest one they had. I don't know how many meters it is. I don't remember. I got the box right here, but like, let me see a second. Hold up. I think it says it's 200, 240 centimeters, I think, or 139 centimeters. The base is included. It has over 2,200 needles. And don't come from my tree. But, but um, yeah, this is 200 euros. I think it's like, I don't know. I, I'm American. You know they don't teach us nothing. So it's like whatever. I'm going to say it's probably like seven feet tall. And here, a tree like that would not be $200, basically. It would be, I've seen these trees on like balsam Christmas something or another. They're like $800. There is one sitting at Home Depot right now that's like a nine footer for like $800. And it's got the real needles on it. I ain't got money for that. And I told I told my husband, yo, bro, we need to get a new one. And this was as tall as they came in Germany. Because most of the houses are kind of small. The house we lived in when we were living in Germany wasn't that small. Um, They had like this big foyer area. Or like, I don't know. It was, it, we lived in literally a house. They they designed that house. I lived in a village called Pleidelsheim. There was the most American house in the least American town. So, I don't know, but, like, don't come for my tree. So, I'm trying to put this tree together, and I put it together fine. I'm used to putting it together, but I got to, like, puff out the branches so it doesn't look so anemic. And then, like, I saw something last year where, like, I could get some garland and put some garland to cover up some of the holes. But I'm going to cover the holes with ornaments because I don't feel like getting garland. And we're not doing that. In fact, I don't feel like even doing this decoration bit. I am far too old to be doing this now. I, my husband was pulling stuff out the basement. He's like, uh, I don't think, because I have a Christmas village to put together. My Christmas village is out of fucking control. And it's just ridiculous. And I don't even know what's going on right now. I haven't even done that. I did the nutcrackers. Let me show you the nutcrackers. That's the nutcrackers sitting up there. All of them. Well, some of them are in the window. But that's the nut, the 78th Nutcracker Brigade I have sitting there. So, that's happening. Oh, let me show you the other room. Hold up. I had gotten into gnomes at some point. And I bought these gnomes in Germany. So these are like some German gnomes, even though the gnome thing apparently is like, like from like the Nordic countries, like Sweden and Finland and all of them. I don't know if I should be doing that when I'm recording, but yeah, you see my little, my little, they so cute. I love it. I love back here. They're going to be up there all winter. They are not just for Christmas. They are my winter gnomes and they are going to hang out. I think my husband liked them too. Cause he was like, do they have spring gnomes? Cause I think he liked the spring gnomes. So yeah, I got gnomes hanging out. But with that said, I'm not, I don't, I, 
I got 1,100 pieces of a Christmas village to put together. Some of which I did get in Germany, some of which I've been collecting over years. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I need somebody to do this for me. I haven't even done outside. I gotta put stuff outside. Cause I just, I was talking to my mom the other day and I had realized I have like the projection things for the side of the house. I'm like, motherfucker, I forgot all about that. Cause I hadn't seen most of this stuff. Like you were looking at the combination of two continents worth of Christmas time. So I don't even know. And like, I've been lunching, like, I usually every year I put, like, the Christmas music on. I have my, I had to pause my Japanese Christmas music because I didn't want, like, copyright shit happening. So, like, I had to pause my Christmas music to do this, but, like, I usually have my Christmas music and be all ready. I ain't ready. I am not ready. And at some point I will explain why I'm not ready. I'm not ready to explain why I'm not ready just yet. I might cover that at the end of the year just to, like, get it out of my system sorry i got crust all up in my nose um so yeah i still don't feel like decorating and i'm procrastinating and i need somebody to decorate y'all need to come over here and decorate and i just point at shit like put that over there put that tree in right where it is moody's nutcrackers to and fro hither and fucking dither because i ain't ready Later.